What's going on guys? It's Bill Moore. Okay, today I have a very, very special hot sauce review for you guys. Uh, special because this is from a very special maker uh, and that is Mr. John Hart of K. John's, uh, the godfather of hot sauces, uh, one of the most awarded uh, hot sauce makers here in the United States. Uh, he knows what he's doing, uh, just puts out some tremendous products, uh, really, really good stuff. So the one I'm doing today is his 20 year anniversary sauce and this is 20 years after hot sauce from K. John's. Now just check out this fantastic looking bottle, would you? He even signed it there. Uh, this is a huge, you could hurt somebody with this one, this is a huge 12.68 fluid ounce bottle. Uh, just awesome. But uh, let me go ahead and read uh, the uh, back of the bottle here. And this is what it says. It says America's finest and most awarded small batch sauce makers. Early 97 brought a fledgling family based sauce business called K. John's Fiery Foods Company to life. Who would have thought that 20 years after I would be in the Hot Sauce Hall of Fame and one of the most renowned craft food manufacturers? This sauce is a triumph of the knowledge acquired during that journey and our way of thanking you for keeping us on track. I started with one of my most recognized recipes, added double the usual bourbon, black cherries, and vanilla, aged it in a barrel from Jim Bean's finest for a year. The blend of flavors are unmatched. I urge you to celebrate with us this passion that has become our legacy. What is that? Flavor with fire. All right. Now, I purchased this uh, because I definitely wanted to get this reviewed and put it on my channel and share it with all of you guys because this is very, very special. So I wanted to make sure that it was on my channel. But uh, let's go ahead and read the ingredients on this one. Um, now, before I start, I've never tried the original or the one that this is kind of based on the uh, black cherry, uh, bourbon, black cherry, and vanilla hot sauce. I've never tried that one. But here's the ingredients, guys. Brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, red habanero chilies, tomato paste, infused bourbon, bourbon whiskey, black cherries, vanilla beans, chipotle chilies, salt, spices, and natural applewood smoke flavoring. Doesn't that sound like an awesome... Uh, recipe. All right, check this stuff out, guys. Look at that gorgeous color, would you? That nice, dark, rich color. Chipotle black cherry color. You can see some of the goodness in there and how it coats the bottle. Now, this is not a super thick sauce. Uh, it's more on the thin side, loose side, but just look at that. And doesn't it look gorgeous? Beautiful black cherry chipotle dark color. All right, now this is when it gets really good because you probably can imagine what this is going to smell like, right? And that's exactly right, bourbon. And I love bourbon. Um, definitely get that bourbon aroma. You get the black, uh, not the black, yeah, the black cherries. Uh, you get the brown sugar sweetness. Uh, wow. This stuff is incredible, guys. Uh, you get the vanilla beans a little bit. But that's exactly, it smells exactly like it It, it tastes, uh, as I'll get to here in a minute, kind of jumping ahead of myself, but wow. You kind of get the earthy, uh, slight smokiness from Chipotle's kind of at the back end, but this one just really jumps out at you with bourbon infused, you know, black cherries, um, vanilla, uh, just awesome. Wow. Mm, amazing aroma. Woo, man, you can smell that bourbon. Oh, this is amazing. All right, let's show you what it, it uh, looks like and pours like. Got to be careful with this one. I took this one to work, guys, um, and people just thought it was incredible. And there we go. Do a nice little spoonful. All right, here we go. 20 years after. Mm. Oh, wow blended perfectly then as you swallow it then that's when I get the chipotle get the little bit of slight chipotle um, flavor and that um, applewood smoke flavor and that's added but just a fantastic flavor guys you get the bourbon you get the black cherries uh, it's sweet so it's kind of a it's kind of a really sweet sauce but sweet in a good way um, black cherry bourbon vanilla just love that combination and once again, I haven't tried the original, but if you doubled them on this one, um, 
and I could tell this is really, really good. Um, kind of wish it was had a little bit more heat from the red habaneros. It's very, very faint to me. Um, but the flavors on this, just like he says, are just, um, you know, unmatched. Uh, just incredible. Really, really good stuff. Um, let me show you what I did with this one, guys. I think this would just be good on so many different things. You know, use it as a regular hot sauce, but uh, use it as a barbecue sauce as well. I think it would be fantastic to marinate uh, ribs, uh, chicken, uh, pork, and then, then grill it up. Use it as a marinade. Uh, use it as an ingredient and maybe, you know, other things that you use as a marinade, but probably the best to use it by itself. And then as kind of a finishing glaze there just at the very end, so that it's not going to burn because of the brown sugar that's in here. I think that would be fantastic. Uh, but here's a couple of pictures of what I did. The first thing I did with this is I have made some, um, one of my favorite breakfast foods, and that is uh, some breakfast soft tacos uh, with scrambled eggs, chorizo, and potatoes. And I put this on there, and it was amazing. I love that. And I also got the idea because this is a sweet sauce. It's, it's bourbon. It's got black cherries. It's got vanilla. And, you know, I was thinking a dessert sauce. I think this would be incredible on certain desserts. Like, uh, first thing that comes to mind is like cheesecake or a nice warm bread pudding. Ah, that would just be fantastic. But you know what? It's also fantastic on ice cream. So we had some leftover pecan, butter pecan ice cream. I put this on top of it, and it was fantastic. Excuse me. Just love that. Really, really good. Um, yeah, this is amazing. Uh, congratulations, John, on 20 years in the business. That's incredible. Congratulations for what you've done uh, getting into the um, Hot Sauce Hall of Fame. Everything, your business, uh, you just make some incredible products. So congratulations on 20 years in the business. This deserves a 10 out of 10, guys. One of the best sauces I reviewed this year. Uh, heat, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. Uh, it's pretty mild for a habanero sauce. Once again, I think I would have enjoyed it if it just had a little bit more fire from the habaneros. But um, it's all about flavor with this one. But incredible job. Highly recommended. Uh, I believe it's still on his website. I don't know how many were made, but uh, it's still listed on his website. Uh, 20 bucks. Uh, totally worth it. This is a huge bottle of some tasty sauce. Uh, it really is. So highly recommended. Check him out at kjohns.com. Uh, link will be down in the description. I've reviewed several of John's products on my channel before, so make sure you check that out. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more, and until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.